What is up in the army? I'm back. Sort of. Anyway, it's Gamer Talk Episode 3. You finally. A little delight. <coughs> Let's wait for E3. <coughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, E3 happened this past week, so of course, Gamer Talk is here. We're going to discuss E3 in this episode in segment four, so you have a bit to wait. So, might as well say what we got this episode. We got race and punish. We got movie news. We got we got shield booker. And we got fun with E3 to end off this episode. So this is Gamer Talk Ep Gamer Talk Episode 3 for the month of June 2019. Let's do this, let's get this done, let's make it set and have some fun with this. So, let's hope we don't rage, let's hope I don't rage, I've already done the other one that asked. So, anyway, but yeah, let's move in. Okay, so, before we get in, of course, more housekeeping, I think I kind of leaked this back in maze, so, yeah, it would have been maze, yeah, yeah, in maze, um, I would have said that, um, I think I would have leaked that there was something we were working on, I just didn't show it then, I don't have a photo, stop, stop. <laughs> anyway, um, on the merch site now, we have, as of the day I'm recording this, so this week, we have launched three new, um, merchandise lines. We have launched, uh, two first, um, lines of the 11 crew lines. So, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of different new merch lines coming out. So, um, yeah. Then, there's the Innator Army Red Hoodie line that has just launched, and they both look stellar. If I could, I would pop pictures up on here, but I can't, because the photos are being stupid. If I was able to, I would have showed you the photos, but the photos are being stupid and wouldn't even go into the slides. So, <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah. Moving on from there, welcome to this, and welcome to June's Gamer Talk, and let's uh, have fun with this one. I'm gonna have fun in the fourth segment. Ooh, there was some spicy stuff, say, E3. But before we get to the fourth segment, which is the new segment, we have to get through the first three and starting it off with race and punish the last time we did this it did not end well for me at all it ended with me uh, doing really badly on a game of Rocket League that was horrible we're not doing that again <laughs> so in all the fairness to me we are going to be going into a even more difficult of a game to do this in. We are going to be going into Forza Horizon 4 and we will be doing it in there and the challenge I do not know, I have not set yet. But um, yeah, we will be heading into Forza Horizon 4 for the, the second ever segment of Race and Punish. What is up? I'm back. And due to unforeseen circumstances, we are not we are not in Forza Horizon 4, we are in Forza Motorsport 7. 
been that Forza Horizon 4 needed an update. So, I got my Dodge, I got my guy, and I got a challenge. Now the issue is, I don't, I don't have this thing. I don't, I don't even think we have one in the house. I, I don't have an eye patch, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have one of my eyes closed like this. This is gonna be real difficult. We're good. All good. And I did, uh, before I actually start the challenge, I did turn off all dri uh, driver chairs. There's only us. So that should help. Then that, I put all 24 drive drivers in this. I'm screwed. <laughs> so, yeah. Gotta go with it. Gotta do it. The quicker you do it, the quicker I'll be over. to water. And I only set it to do two periods. With a period lapse. This is really annoying.
working. It's not working too well. This car was not that fast. Turn around turn. Could have gone better. <laughs> it, well, it did go, I guess, slightly better. Um, <laughs> just it it didn't go the best. <laughs> anyway, um, the reason why I kind of don't have a full memory of what I did in, in segment one, uh, all I know I. I hit walls a couple times, I do believe. I, I remember that. The other reason why I'm a little blank, uh, I'm recording this the day after this part, this segment, the day after I recorded that segment. So, um, I'm recording this on the day you guys are seeing the episode. So, um, yeah. Didn't go well, sort of. It, well, it went well. I, I had to change it, it's stupid. It was stupid Horizon 4 needed an update. <laughs> but, eh, what can you do? So let's never talk about this again. It's gonna be like the last time. This did a rage this time. Last time I did. <laughs> Movie news. Okay, so what do we got this time? Well, pretty much I'm just gonna say what's going into theaters practically today. Um, so going into theaters now, we, um, I don't know if it shocked you guys. It, it kind of shocked me hearing that there was another one coming. But Men in Black International goes into theaters. And, um, I don't know if it'll do well. It's another Men in Black. Uh, in my view, they uh, I think they just need to, well, stop making them. <laughs> they just keep making them and, uh, well, they, they make enough and make good money, but, yeah. But besides that, we got Dark Phoenix in theaters along with, uh, Latin, I do believe, uh, so, there's some, some pretty interesting films in theaters now. I'm just trying to load this. Ah. Okay, you... I don't have internet connection, apparently. Ah, oh, great. Come on, phone! <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid of my phone. <laughs> there we go. You know what? Just look it up. <laughs> Do 
Okay. Yeah, release into theaters today. Um, so I I think it's gonna be interesting. I don't think I'm gonna see that, but um, and one movie that I am probably going to see in theaters is Dark Phoenix, uh, the last movie in the X Men franchise. When uh, 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 well, so we know at the moment there might be another one that they just can't make up their mind. <laughs> Um, being that, uh, yet another, another one, hey, <laughs> so, yeah, let's move on to the next segment, I guess. Shield Booker, okay, it's easier than the last one, the last one was in Titanfall 2 and it could not use a Titan, I had to, Get a thing. Ten kills without a titan. I think I might be wrong, but um, this time it is an easier one. Don't know why. The other one was pretty easy. Let's be honest. This one is involving Battlefront, the Star Wars first-person shooter game. I have to get six kills only using a pistol. So. Let's um let's go into Battle Battlefront One on the Xbox and uh, see if I see if I fail this time. Okay, uh, we're in Battlefront now. Hope to God we don't fail. We are gonna be a rebel. So we have to kill five Imperials with a pistol. I was literally just looking, I don't have a pistol. So I have a scout pistol as one of my cards. So I'm going to have to use that. So. This could either go badly or good. And we're playing Walker Assault. So, this might not end well, as we might get stumped up by a walker! Good to know. 
At the moment we're doing very badly guys, so I haven't got a single kill. Oh god! ETSC! I got it. I hit him. I didn't hit him. Who's doing me? Strike incoming. Oh. He's at 80 health. I'm gonna fail. The walker is exposed. Focus all firepower on. Oh, of course I was killed. Is exposed. Focus all firepower on it. I'm going to count this as five before I get this out. Red Bull. <laughs> I can't get someone on the hundred health down with a pistol. It's impossible. Uplink stations available. I got a kill! I got a kill! I got one! Oh yeah, we're facing a main guy. 
Yeah, that's not gonna work out. Well. Ever. <laughs> Oh! Jeez! What a shot! I can summon in an X or an A wing. That's a walker! Uplink activated. Watch for Imperial counterattack. Okay, I'm set. Oh dear God! We're being shot! Station has been activated. Hold it. Who shot me? That guy? Okay. Why is this guy doing? <laughs> what is this guy doing? Uplink signal is dead. We need to reactivate it. Oh! Thermal imploder! We need two more. The chances of us getting them are very low. Wow. Boys, I can't get another kill with the pistol. My wing locked in. I've gone three though, so I might just get uh, give myself the benefit of the doubt and no concern myself. Okay, I wasn't even wanting to aim for that guy. Go in the cave, sort of. Or 
capital strike? ended up getting it. It was shocking. Um, but yeah, got five. 
Yay! And, um... Now, uh... I, at the moment, I'm undefeated on Shield Bucker. That's good. I'm not undefeated on, um... Race and Punish. And I lost in, um, History Bucker. So, yeah. So now, it is time for the big segment this time. The new segment, Fun with E3. Okay. So, basically, I'm just going to cover um, two of the press conferences here. I'm going to cover Xbox and UB. Uh, so, uh, I'm not going to cover Squire Enix, even though uh, the Avengers thing, that was insane looking. I, I didn't watch the briefing, though. So, anyway, Xbox briefing, what did they show? They showed a total of, I think, 60 games on their stage. They showed a new Lego game, which, uh... Never, uh, LEGO never usually shows games on the Xbox briefing stage. I'm guessing the reason why is because PlayStation stupidly was not there. I don't know why. Um, but, uh, yeah, PlayStation wasn't there, so Xbox, um, had the LEGO, the new LEGO game appear on their stage. And for me, the LEGO game looks pretty cool. It's LEGO Star Wars. The Skywalker Saga. It is all nine films. What? How? How how many levels is that even gonna be? How many levels are going to be in there? There's nine films. The biggest game I've played by Lego was the uh, Jurassic World. And that wasn't even nine. That was four. <laughs> So it's kind of insane, but um, besides that, Xbox unveiled um, a new console, Project Scar Scarlet. Uh, what else did they unveil on their big stage? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. They unveiled more gameplay for uh, Gears 5. Uh, that's a. It, that was interesting. They uh they unveiled a new um company working under them. They uh I don't remember the name of the group. Uh. But yeah, they they unveiled quite a bit um on their um briefing. And something that has already released globally, um is the. Uh, Forza Horizon 4's second expansion, the LEGO Race Champions, I think it's Race Champions expansion. I have the game, I have the expansion. I have not played the expansion yet, being the <laughs> Horizon 4 new update. Anyway, um, yeah. Besides that, they even built quite a bit. Um, they're going out of there. Uh, again, uh, the only Warner thing that I think was actually at E3 this year was, uh, the LEGO games. Um, Rocksteady wasn't. Rocksteady, what are you doing? Um, and, uh, no other Warner Bros. studio was there. So what? What? Huh? What are you doing? Idiots. And, um, then besides that, um, Ubisoft. Shocked everyone with no Assassin's Creed this year. That shocked me. Um, we honestly would have thought they would have had a Assassin's Creed. They have a game that's made by the same developers as Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but it's not Assassin's Creed, which means it's not Assassin's Creed. But um, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Sort of. I would have wished they released another one, but I still have to get through Odyssey Origins. Uh, Three. Uh, uh, you know, if you're 
from if you watch the mature channel, you know which ones I'm talking about and which ones I have to complete. But um, yeah, they didn't go. They didn't show any Assassin's Creed, but they showed a no, new Watch Dogs. So technically, Watch Dogs Three, Watch Dogs Legions. Shocked me. I didn't expect it. But um. As I was watching the briefing, I actually kind of guessed what it was, and I was right, it was Watch Dogs. So, that's kind of cool. But, um, yeah. E3 this year was kind of interesting, if I do say so myself, being that PlayStation pulled out with that, probably companies pulled out with them, uh, being that certain groups go with PlayStation, and if PlayStation ain't there, they probably don't go at all. But Warner, they jumped with Xbox, a couple more did. But, um, yeah. Xbox is also, has also unveiled this, I don't know that this was coming. Uh, they unveiled a flight simulator. <laughs> the weirdest of things, they unveiled a flight simulator. But, um, yeah. I don't know. Eh. Yeah. I might get, uh, I technically get it for free, I have the Game Pass, and it's going on to Game Pass on at its release in 2020. So, eh, I might get it, I might not, who knows. So! Thank you everyone for coming to this episode of Gamer Talk. Um, next one, July's, will be live from... Enderman Burial Center on the, uh, my, on in Inner Village as one of our first major events this summer. So I hope to see you all on the 12th of July for the next one. And, um, yeah, I hope to see you all there. We'll see what we'll be discussing there. Of course, it's going to be MC Challenger, of course. We're on Minecraft, that one's gonna have to happen. But I'm gonna need to line someone up for that. I'm gonna be working around the clock to set that one up. But yeah, Nay Army, I hope to see you all in the next episode of Gamer Talk for July. I hope to see you all there. See you later, Nay Army. And if you um think there's anything that I missed from E3, let me know in the comment section below and I will possibly make a video uh, reacting to all the trailers that are appropriate. But, um, yeah. I hope to see you all in the next video. This is Game Near 5, signing off. See you later in Nader.